Uh, this is GCSE Maz and we're looking at trigonometry. We're now looking at non right angle triangles. So we've just done the sine rule and the cosine rule and we're now going to be looking then at the area of a triangle. So to find the area of a non right angle triangle, we use the formula area is equal to half AB sine C. So it's a half AB sine C. So it's a bit like the cosine rule where you have two sides and you have the angle in between. And if you look at the example down here, we have these two sides and we have the angle in between. And so we can work out then from that. Um, I'm tempted not to label it. Um, we're going to use area equals a half A, B, sine C. And if it's not labeled A, B and C, it can confuse people. But I just remember it's the two sides, this side times this side times sine of the angle in between. So it's going to be area is a half multiplied by 8.2, not sure why I've written it like that, multiplied by 7.5 times the sine of 25. If you wanted it labelled, that would be your A, that would be your B, and that would be your C. And it's fine, obviously, to do it like that. So let's put this in the calculator and see what we get. We're going to have 0.5 times by 8.2 times by 7.5 times by sine 25 and we get 12.99 the three significant figures then that's going to be 13.0 centimeters squared um, example two we have a wee bit of a problem we don't have um, two sides in the angle in between so we need to do something then to work that out people prefer to use a sine rule if they can and we can just about get away with using the sine rule here so this is y this will be small y so that's our set and if this is small z we can have this in as big z if we work out this angle take them away from 180 it'll give us this angle and that gives us then our two sides and our angle in between so we're going to use the sine rule first of all to get sine z. So it's going to be sine z over z. Feel free to relabel it a, b, and c if you're more comfortable with that. Is equal to sine y over y. So sine z over 6.4 equals sine 58 over 5.9. Sine z equals sine 58 over 5.9 multiplied by 6.4. Sine z equals. So we're going to go for 6.4 multiplied by sine 58. I'm going to hit equals on that. And then I'm going to divide that by 5.9. This was different than how I did it actually last time when I was using the sine rule, but that's okay. So sine z is now 0.9199. And then I'm going to do um, sine to minus 1. And it gives me then 66.9 degrees. So that means z is 66.9 degrees. Why does that help us? It sort of helps us because we can now work out this angle here. Uh, let's leave here for the area. So over here we're going to go x equals 180 take away 58 plus Gives us then um, 55.1 degrees. So, why have we done this? Remember, we're finding the area here. I now have two sides and I have the angle in between. So, area is a half. If you want, you could do for half z y sine x. I'm just going to write down the formula I know with half ap sine c. Remember, that's the two sides and the angle in between. We're a wee bit out of focus here. Hopefully that's okay. It's a bit better now, is it? Uh, so it's a half times 6.4 times 5.9 sine 55.1. So 
So that's again going to be 0.5, which is our half, multiplied by 6.4, multiplied by 5.9, multiplied by sine 55.1. And I get 15.5, finally. And that then would be our centimeters squared. Let's look at our next example. If you're still with me. Um, so L M N is a triangle in which let's get our triangle drawn and we'll renegotiate from there. So L M N L M is seven point two L M N is fifty four. Um, and the area of the triangle is 19, so we're going to have to use this one backwards and then find this side here. Again, if you wanted to, you could um, label, you redo the formula instead of A equals a half AB sine C, A equals a half NL sine M. I'm just going to stick with what I know, so it's a half AB sine C. And so 19 is going to be a half multiplied by 7.2 multiplied by B, which is what we're trying to work out, sine 54. Um, you can do a couple of different things. We could just do the sum and then divide it into 19 or rearrange it first of all. Um, I'll do the sum first. So it's going to be a half times 7.2 times sine 54 and that gives me 2.912 2.912 B and then the B is going to be 19 over 2.912 uh, 19 divided by 2.912 and that gives me then 6.52. So if you want to then find it, it says calculate MN. I should maybe have called that MN all the way through. I thought it was easier just to keep it as a B. And therefore, MN is 6.52 centimeters.